All right. I'm going to tell you right now, I might anger some people with this video, but honestly, I could really care less. Call of Duty has officially been announced to be World War II. And you know something? I could care less. Let me tell you why. Activision does not care about this franchise. The only reason you're getting War at War 2 is because Battlefield 1 receives such high praise. That is it. Call of Duty is so pathetic that it doesn't have their own ideas. They don't have their own ideas anymore. They just rip off any other developer they see. They did that with Advanced Warfare, with Titanfall. They did it with... Um, with Destiny, with Black Ops 3, and, they, and vice versa. They continue to do this. But the main thing, the main, main problem with this franchise, and the main, main reason why I could care less about this franchise, is it's 2017, okay? And here in 2017, they're still using the same engine from 1983. <laughs> <laughs> same, same engine from 1983, and they have not improved a single thing on this on the game. Haven't haven't fixed anything. Now, as someone who's played Call of Duty since the very very first one, that's right, I've been playing since the very first one, and the one that broke me as a COD fan and made me not want to play it anymore and not even look at a COD game was literally Ghost. That was the last one that broke me. I did buy Black Ops 3 to try it out, test the waters. Thought it was better in terms of movement. But overall, I didn't even max prestige on that. I stopped playing at like 7 prestige. I threw that game away. Well, couldn't throw it away, but it was digital. But, you know, I stopped playing it. Have not touched it. Have not thought about a COD game. Have not, have no reason to think about a COD game. So, okay. So we're, we're boots on the ground. Yay, we're boots on the ground. Everybody's jumping with joy. Boots on the ground. Yay. Boots on the ground. We're ready. Yet, last time I checked, they still have not, to this day, fixed the fundamentals that make up this game. It's still going to be the same thing, repackage. You shoot somebody, you clearly know he should be dead on your screen. He should be dead. He turns around, shoots you twice, you're dead. You spawn, and you're dead instantly from your spawn because somebody's camping in the bushes with an LMG with a damn thermal sight on it. See where I'm going with this? Nothing will ever be fixed with this franchise. Nothing. I tried to play Ghost not that long ago. Like about two months ago, I tried to play Ghost. And that game is the epitome of how incompetent Activision is with this franchise and why I laugh at people who literally just listen to Ali A and all these other clowns who really claim they're passionate about the series. They're not passionate about the series, man. They're only saying what they're saying to give views and money off the thing. That's it. They've established themselves to the point where, yeah, they might stay, they can say a little bit of negativity and won't get any flack for it. You know, some of you are just hypocrites that will take their flack, but you can't take nobody else's flack. So, they have established themselves to the point where they can do that. But when it comes to overall, like, their emotions, it's fake. It's 100% fake. It's forced. You got dudes with screenshots with their mouths wide open with supply drops, which will definitely be in this game. I don't know why people are thinking this. they, they won't return in this. They're going to be in here. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, nothing but cosmetics are in the game in the supply drop system. And then um, two months in, when after they see them, uh, they see them supply drops not being um, bought. Oh yeah, by the way, the MP40 from the original World at War game, yeah, that's in here, but it's in the supply drop system. See what I'm going with this? It's not going to change. It's the same thing. Activision does not care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about nobody's criticism. They don't care. They're going to keep milking this this uh, game series until it's completely dead and the sad part is it is everybody's moved on i've moved on to rocket league other people have moved on to battlefield people have moved on to destiny people are more hyped from destiny 2 than they are for this i don't see nobody talking about this nobody i mean if you can name somebody by all means tell me but i haven't heard anybody talk about this not a single one is that is that pathetic it's that pathetic, man. <laughs> and it's crazy. It's crazy. 
See, back in the day, if I heard somebody talk trash about it, yeah, I'll act, don't get me wrong, I'll act like these little five-year-olds, oh, you must just suck at the game. <laughs> oh, boy, how reality set in. How reality has set in. How reality has set in. It's that bad. Nobody cares anymore. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So they're going to come out with this. They might announce zombies. whoop de doo Who cares? Again, I don't care. Zombies is zombies. They might as well sell zombies as a standalone game and make sales off of that. Get rid of these stupid stories and invest more time in just the multiplayer. Go all multiplayer only. Who cares about the story anymore? Nobody plays COD for story. Go all out for multiplayer. Kind of like with... Uh, Respawn wanted to do with uh, Titanfall. I think that's the name of Respawn. They want to do a Titanfall. They want to go all online uh, with that. That's what they should be doing for Call of Duty. Just go all online. Nobody cares about the story mode. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. But no, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because, <laughs> again, they have idiots that literally are toxic in this community that go to people's channels. They claim you're bad at the channel, right? You're running around killing people. But then immediately we'll go to like somebody like Ali A or somebody similar to Ali A who's just sitting in a corner, you know, creeping. And I was going to say, oh, you're, you're so MOG. That's so MOG. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, just, that's just how it is, man. Call of Duty, man. It's a joke. You know it's a joke. And the new one, I have no faith in it whatsoever. I know it's going to be bad. I already know it's going to be bad. It's going to, I can already see it having some uh, fake reviews from IGN. They might go, and, oh, yeah, it's eight out of, it's 8.5 out of 10. It has a lot of takes, but nothing else. Like, yeah, okay. But uh, I can see that happening. I can see that happening. I'm pretty sure the Panic Knife is going to return because, you know, they got to have some BS in this game. So I'm pretty sure the Panic Knife is going to be a thing in this again. I'm pretty sure Danger Close and New Tubes and all that crap is going to be in here. With, you know, remember the rifle grenades from World at War 1? Yeah, expect that to be back in here. Expect it. You're going to have um, a few people comment on this, you know, or I'm sorry, not, you're going to have a few people, um, the hell, they might have the IED back in here. Bouncing Betty's, remember those? <laughs> I'm just going through the back of my head here. There's so many things I can, th I can see being put in here. So many things. Maybe the tanks come back again. Do you care? No. Obviously not, because I can already see people just camping in the tank, even though they were easy to take out in World at War 1, still, I can see people just sitting in the tanks. Sniper rifles, again, it's another thing. Quickscoping, you think quickscoping is going to be gone? You think quickscoping is not going to be a thing in this? You're an idiot if you think so. You're an idiot. It's going to be in here. It's going to be part of this. They're going to lie and say, oh, hey, we reduced it, when really it's going to be in here in all its glory. They don't care. Um... They're going to have, they're going to lie and say they have dedicated servers when they clearly don't. They might have like 13 dedicated servers. Yeah, a billion dollar company that makes billions off this one game has 13 dedicated servers. Meanwhile, you know, other games I can play on Battlefield right now and experience no lag because I can invest in the server. I mean, you get what I'm going with this? It's just... It's bad, man. It's bad. But that's just my thoughts on it. Will I ever return to Call of Duty? Probably not. Do I care? No. Do I even want to return back to Call of Duty? Of course not. <laughs> Why would I put myself through the headache again? Why? Why would I put myself through the headache? It's pointless. I can't go back and play the old gods because they're hacked. So it's like the only logical thing for me to do is to move on. And that's what I did. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's my thoughts on this whole World War II. Uh, Call of Duty going World War II. Back to it. So, there you go. If you liked the video, thumbs it up. If you didn't, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you ain't, thumbs it down. I don't care. But I had to get my two cents up. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.